What's up, my good people? Ella up on set. Want to show you guys something pretty awesome, pretty cool, pretty dope. I vouch for this. This is really nice. I love this. It's a new browser by Loop. Well, it's by it's by Loop Masters, but this is called Loop Cloud. This is your new browser. So it doesn't matter what dog you are using. You can be using Studio One, Reaper, Pro Tools, Logic Pro, and now the new addition to the family reason reason users guys reason 9.5 propeller has just dropped the limitations in regards to using vsts in case you guys didn't know so now this can be applied to reason and even some of my production tips and techniques using plugins can be used for for some of you guys that use reason this is dope and i'm gonna show you guys how this works it, it definitely works with any doll that has VST support. So if you guys got Loop Loop Masters account, basically the way this works is you everything that you purchase in your account will fall right here. All right, everything that you got has got a dope uh, tagging system construction going on here. You can search things in the content types. I got construction kit, drum kit, uh, drum head. I'm sorry, loops, MIDI, one shots. You can search for it in formats, genre. You know, it's broken down into the house, electric, funk, dubstep. You can you can even go further as far as instruments, you know, things like your guitar, your keyboard, and then you can go as far as the labels, the actual labels on it. And these is just your labels that is associated with your your Loop Masters account, which is pretty awesome. So, you know, if I was to click here, I can gain access to everything within this kit i think this is pretty awesome you can even search for you know whatever you're looking for a kick here every all your kicks fall here you know what i mean and it's pretty dope because it has your your tagging in your face it shows you you know the instrument so it's under drum then it's on the kick it's under snare you know so this element here you can find it in all of these areas here uh, the content type, you know, it kind of just break everything down. And this is in the Loop Master, so this is within your account here. Um, there's a uh, a playback section here, which is pretty dope. It says no preview because this is not something. It's not a sign on, I believe. All right, so I just have to click on probably wave. There we go. All right, pretty cool stuff here. I can also play around with the um, the pitch. The other pretty cool thing about this is you can actually favorite the things that you like. So say for instance, I like that kick, right? And I actually do like that. I'll save it. So this is a HM kick 19. So if I was to visit my favorite section everything well as long as i have kick here in the search area everything that says kick will fall here but if i was to backspace here erase that then i can see everything that i have saved under my favorites and the cool thing about this is this is a a browser that you can download on any machine any any computer that is and Everything that you have saved in your favorites in regards to um, the instruments or, you know, I believe only associated with the things in your account. Because the reason why I say that is because I believe you can also go here in the preference area where you can unleash the other things in your computer. I have not did this yet. So once I do this, I will probably do another video showing you guys how this works. So if I was to click here, I probably have... I probably have access to other things. I'm not really sure how that works, so I have to play with that. Um, if you're into customization, you can also change the way it looks, which is pretty cool. Um, let's go back here to my preference. And I'm going to click here. There's a black and gold look, which is pretty cool. So you can still see the colors. So let's go back here, change it back to default. So I actually dig the default. How do we get it in our session? So because it's a browser, 
it's a you it's it's a drag and drop situation. So that's all you're doing. So let me show you this track that I did. So All right, so basically what I did here was I created a composition here. I created this this song all based on loops from the loop cloud, based on all of the, the kits that I have associated in my account. You know what I'm saying? And I just drag and drop my butt off over here in this section. And that, that's all I did. I have nothing that I pull from um, anywhere, any, anywhere else on my computer, everything was was pulled over. So basically, the way I did this, um, because you're working with loops and you know just primarily wave files, you can manipulate the wave files however you need to. All right, so you can flip, turn up and side down, put whatever filters and effects and things like that on it. You can pitch it up and down if you need to. So and that's pretty much what I did here. I started off with this bass line here. Right, but that's not how it sounds. This is what it sounds like. Right, and I just activated this uh, red light district, which is a stock distortion sound or stock distortion plugin within Studio One here. Create a scratch pad here. Let me show you guys exactly what's going on. So this is a HHI2. Let's see if we can search for that. No, HHI291. I believe that was the the um the BPM. Okay, so it was one of these here. It was No, that's not it. All right. So I found it. This works just like machine. If you guys know about machine or use machine, you know that the drag and drop feature works exactly the same. You just drag it in, you know? So you could be using Reason even before the VST situation and, and do this with no problem. So, so all I did here was took that got rid of that I think that's what I did so and just duplicated it I think that's how I did that. Yeah. So I'm gonna pull that back and duplicate that. I think that's how I did it. It looks similar, right? So let's play it over here. I mean, there's a little little break in between, but it's the same thing here. So just to show you just a glimpse as to how I did that, I took a kick, I believe it was this one, right? And I brought it in here. And just chop it up, you know, kind of move it around, you know, just like you see me do here. You know what I'm saying? Something, something like that. I think that's what I did. If I bring that back some. Right. And then you just see me grab the edge and brought it back i probably could have just did that just like you seen me do just now instead of doing the crossfade yeah it's exactly or whatever <laughs> and 
and I actually pitched that down, as you can see. So this is the original, and I pitched it down to negative two. I'm show you what I did with the snare. Now, when you go on for loops, you know, this is my rule of thumb. If the sample sounds good, even if it's uh, associated with the pattern, I will still go and grab that 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 pattern and just chop it up and make it do what I needed to do. So, in this instance. There was a snare. It uh H H I I believe. Snare. There we go. So wait for it de decompress. All right, so So what I did was I chopped it like right there. Actually, on this two. So what I did was I just moved it back like so. Chopped that. I probably had more, as you can see, because I, I want I wanted some of the reverb here, right? So I can keep that that reverb, but I didn't want it as long as it as as it really was. So I had to bring this back so that I can put it, you know, where it's supposed to go, which is right there. And then, you know, you kind of just take all of these and duplicate it, put a compressor on here and a EQ. So this is what it sounds like without that. Right. So for the EQ, kind of carve out some of that that middle nastiness, to give it a cleaner sound, and give it more meat and bottom. So I put a compressor on it, and crush the crap out of it also give it that punchy and it gave it that, that you know more character saturation sound put that EQ on there and we're good to go so this is what it sounds with that with so this connection works only if you have this installed um, in your actual session as a as a plugin, because it's gonna read that right. So now we can play with the way that it it reacts. You know. This is let's, let's find another sample so I can show you guys better, like what I'm trying to show you. So when you play around with the different pattern settings there, it also invokes different creative ideas as you as you you know playing around and finding the you know something cool to add within your song so that that's pretty dope so it's not only a browser with the preview it also invokes things and it doesn't matter if you're playing around with loops or the actual one shots which is something i should have went to um one shots are more so you know, just one shot, right?
and that would have probably worked better as I was trying to show you guys how that, you know, the 16s works. Like, for instance, right? I can turn it down. I just think that's pretty cool. I really do. Um, you guys need to get this. This is this is like you know the browsable thing. Your your doll is pretty cool, but this right here it it takes browsing to the next level. Everything is color code. It makes it easy to find. Um, I have like I said. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I have this on two computers. This is dope. Big ups to Loop Masters for the new invention. This is something I will definitely use more often in my music. So you guys will see me use this several times later videos down the line. All right. I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, please feel free. I know I forgot to tell you guys something. So look for another video. I'm just thinking my brain is fried. This is Ella. Remember, music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture. <laughs>